Time for us to talk a little bit about roles, in particular about built-in roles in MongoDB and how the role-based access control system works. Now, there's a fair amount to say about roles. But by now, you should be aware that MongoDB role-based access control system is in place and that, that database users will be granted roles to perform operations of MongoDB. So we're not going to cover that in this lesson. Roles can be of two types. It can be either custom roles, which are tailored roles to attend specific needs of specific users, which we are also not going to cover in this lecture, and built-in roles, which are prepackaged MongoDB roles. Now, saying that we are not going to cover custom roles doesn't mean you cannot learn about them. And we have a specific course, MongoDB Security, for you to learn everything related with security, including the custom roles. So I do recommend you to take that if you want to learn a lot more about custom roles and other security aspects of MongoDB. But before we go into the list of built-in roles, the MongoDB packages, let's talk about the role structure. How can we define roles or how roles are defined internally? A role is composed by the following. There is a set of privileges that the role enables. If a user is granted a given role, all privileges that that role defines will be made available to the user. And a privilege defines the action or actions that can be performed over a resource. A resource in its own can be defined by either being a set of specific database and specific collection, any database and any collection, any database and a set of collections, or a specific database and all collections within that database. And finally, we also have the cluster level resource that applies to operations regarding the replica sets or shared clusters. A privilege is defined by a resource and the actions allowed over that same resource. So for example, here, we would have the system allowing the shutdown of a full cluster. By that, we define the resource cluster equals true and the action to be shut down. A role with such a privilege will be allowed to shut down any member of the cluster. But apart of having a list of privileges, a role can also inherit from other roles, either one or several of them. Making this a potentially quite elaborate architecture for mission and privileges across several different roles. And finally, we can also define network authentication restrictions at the role level. This basically allows us to define that a given role is allowed to connect from a client source or to a server address by specifying the set of list of client source and server address in the network restrictions. Okay, so now that we've seen how roles are organized or defined, Let's look into the set of different built-in roles that MongoDB provides. So the built-in roles are organized by four different sets of groups, plus the super user role type. We have database level users, which can either be read and read write. These are the application users that should be either allowed to read or read and write. We have database administration roles, like user admin, DB admin, and DB owner. We have cluster level administration roles, which are cluster admin, cluster manager, cluster monitor, and host manager. We have specific roles for backup and restore. And obviously, we also have our super user root role that should be granted only in specific situations. All the roles defined here are per database level for each user. That means that I can grant different roles to different users on different databases. But there are also built-in roles that are all database level. That means that apply to any database in the system. For the database users, we have read any database or read and write any database. For database administration, we have DB admin any database or user admin any database. And obviously, the super user nature of root is in fact a whole database level role as well. But these are a lot of them. So I want to focus your attention on the ones that we're going to need throughout this course. 
user admin, db owner, and db admin.